Good afternoon, everyone. Hi there. So Come to teach your Tara. Hello, Nika, Lily, Penny, Betty, Cloud, Zach, Raina, Candice Mason, and shout out to Michael and Andrew from Ontario, Canada, who are watching also. And uh, special shout out to my former co teachers in Dallas Alipa, who are going to watch this later or who are on live. I don't know if they're watching. I'm like, to the early childhood department headed by Miss Mrs. Olive Tan, my good friend of mine from all over the world who I have been who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you. From like Of course the field. Okay, are we ready to talk now? But we need to get going. Okay, let's let's review our rules, I think. So eyes looking, ears listening, mouth quiet when you're not being asked to talk, hands folded, legs crossed or crisscross applesauce. So let's Sing our good afternoon song, I think. One, two, three. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Oh, how do you do? I am very well, I am very well, I am very well, thank you. All right, what's your name? Cassie. How old are you? Yes, uh, Where are you from? Georgia. All right, Nika, Lily, Penny, Benny, Cloud, Zach, Raina, Candice, Mason, Andrew, and Michael. Tell your grown-ups the answers to those questions. Your name, your age, and where you live. Good job, kids. Okay, so I think, what is today's date? Today is, do you want to do the honors, I think? It's number five. Oh, are you okay? Okay, there you go. Today. July fireworks. July fireworks. 24, 2020. So today is July 24th, 2020. Yes, all right. So how many days do we have in a week at the Cassie? How many days? One day? How many? Show me. Two days only in a week? How many? I know you know it louder. How many? Seven, show me seven. Oh, okay. Show me seven. Okay, so let's sing a song. And there are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So yesterday was Thursday, I think, I see. So what is today? Friday. Say that. What is that day? Today is Friday. Oh, you moved it to Saturday. You're excited for Saturday. Okay, so today is Friday. Okay, so, yes. All right. So let's talk about our letters for today. I can show them the picture. What is the picture? What is in this picture? Everyone, can you see it? 
starts with letter A. We, you chop the wood when you need to chop the wood or cut the wood. What do you do or what do you use? I cut the wood with bees. Okay, so yeah, you can cut it with bees too. Okay, so that's bees? an X. Okay, everybody, X, A, X, X, all right? And all right, by the way, to my, to all the people who subscribe from the Philippine Normal University, my friends from Philippine Normal, Normal University, hello, friends and former classmates of mine, thank you. And uh, as well as those friends of Kat and Kobe who subscribe to us. Thank you so much for your support and let's keep our subscribers to 1,000, very close, 743 right now. Thank you guys. So X, so where it starts with letter. What's the sound of the letter X? Sounds with letter A. Okay, let's have another one. So look at this. What is that picture in the center? What is this picture? A yard. You use this when you need to knit. All right? So that's a yarn, yeah, yeah, yarn. So what's the initial or the first letter, Ate? The first, the letter of this uh, sound, yeah, 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 yarn. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yarn. So the sound of letter Y, and the sound is what? What is the sound of letter Y? Yeah, very good. Yarn. All right. So let's do then our next activity. We're going to, you've been learning from Teacher Kat. You've been learning from Teacher Kat words that start with shh and ch. So now we will have a nice activity. So let's. To turn this laptop there. Okay. Ate, we're listening, right? We're listening to teacher Tara. All right. There are three sets of words here. And then you're going to choose for each row of pictures which does not belong to the group or which has a different beginning sound. For example, let's take a look at number one, Ate. Okay, we will do that later, please. I'm counting up to five, Ate. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Thank you for coming back. So what is this picture of? This is a picture of, uh, remember, where it starts with ch. An message. So this is a cheetah. Cheetah. This is. What is this picture, I think? All right. Candice, what is this picture? Did you say shark? Very good. Michael, what is this picture? Okay. Oh, Ate. Cassie, what is this picture? You eat this after. For your snack. Chips, okay, so I have cheetah, shark, chips. Okay, so children, pick the word does that does have a different initial or beginning sound. So what did you pick? I did pick one. Which one does not from this set of words or pictures? Which one? Ah, uh, listen first, I did. Okay, so this is cheetah, shark, chips. So I'll them I'll model it first. Cheetah, shark, chips. So I will pick shark because these two words here start with the sound of ch. -ch. I have cheetah and chips. So shark does not belong to this group. All right. So did you guys get it? Did you understand what to do now, I think? Yeah. Can we leave uh, 
the sheep there first. Sheep. Okay. Now you will see you later. Okay, let's have, okay, the second set of words. What is this picture, Ate? You use it when you take a shower so that your hair will smell really, really good and fresh. Shampoo. And then what are this picture? What is in this picture? Shades. Very good. And what is this picture? Oh, yeah. Very good observation with the shape. And what is this picture? What is the third picture here? Chocolate. Chocolate. So let's repeat. Shampoo shapes chocolate. So which does not belong to the group in terms of the initial or first beginning sounds. Shampoo shape chocolate. Ate. Shampoo shape chocolate. So which has a different beginning sound? Hmm? Lily, what did you choose? Penny, what did you choose? Shampoo, shake, chocolate. Raina, candy, seasons. Zach, Michael, Andrew, Cloud, Benny, Nika. Okay, Ate, Cassie, what did you choose? Is it shampoo, shake, or chocolate? Yeah. Very good chocolate. Ate, Cassie said chocolate. So you chocolate. should have, did you also uh, did you also pick chocolate? Okay, chocolate does not belong to this group because these two words here, shampoo, shape, start with a shh sound. Chocolate starts with ch sound, all right? Now, what is this picture, I think? Let's see. Shoe, I love that. Shoe, oh, well, you love that, yeah. just like, Bell shoes, okay, oh, shoe. Mommy shoe. What is, oh, mommy shoe, yeah, teacher mommy shoe. Okay, so what is the second picture? What is this picture? You sit on it, you sit on it. A chair, very good. And what is this picture? A it's a, a clam. Okay, a clam, but love, it's an, a, an, yeah. an, an example of a shellfish. Shell, oh, you love shells? Very good. So let's review. Shoe. Chair, shell. So pick the picture that does not belong to the group, I think. Shoe, listen first. Shoe, chair, shell. So which is a different beginning sound? Oh, okay, it's okay. Is, did you choose shoe? Oh, I think you need to listen again. Shoe, chair, shell. Shoe, shell, chair. So which should you pick? Very good. Thank you for correcting yourself at the okay, chair. Children, did you also choose chair? Very good. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. All right. So do you want another one? You want another round after this? Oh okay, so. Okay, yeah, we will do that here. Okay, so let's have another set of words. Okay, I think, look, one, one final, okay? So, I think, what is this picture? I like it. I'm sorry. All right, kids who are watching. Okay, so, what is this bit of first picture? This is a shape, shape. And then the second picture is chalk or chalkboard this is chalkboard or and then this is these are two pieces of chalk chalk and then this is i think you like this right favorite what is this i think 
Cheese. So I think it's very good. I think. I know you love cheese. Okay. You love cheese. So which does not have, which does not belong to the group? Okay, so which has a different beginning sound? Let's uh, say the word again. Let's say the words again. Shape, chalk, or chalkboard cheese. So what are you going to pick? Which does not belong? Okay, listen first. Shake, chalk, cheese. So which is a different, different, different? Think first, out there. Ah, think first. Ah, this one. Oh, you got it. So see if you're listening. You got the lesson correctly. You got the correct answer. Kids, did you also pick shake? Kiss your brain. Very good. Because chalk or chalkboard and cheese start with ch sound. Shake starts with shh. I think could you please do it? Shh. Very good. All right. I love this class. All right. So now let's check the weather today. Okay, kids, look at the window. Yeah. Open your window and then check if it is. Okay, so currently it's cloudy here in Maryland, in Severn, Maryland. So cloudy. So let's sing the weather song first. Today cloudy. It's going to be very nice. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Hiding behind the tree. This little... I, I lost the words. Can you help me? You said cloudy. It's cloudy. So can you sing the song now, please? No, no it's only day for you to Oh, can you change your mind? Look, look around. Look, look at the window again. Is it cloudy or sunny? I think it's cloudy out there. What do you think? Look at the dark clouds. Do you see dark clouds? Okay, so change it to cloudy. So what are you going to wear? Can you sing the song again? I forgot the lyrics of the song. Can you help me? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. What's the next? Hiding behind that tree. This with a kick. Asking, please, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golson, please shine down on me. All right, anyway, I forgot the lyrics. Okay, so what are you going to wear on a cloudy day, Ate? Yeah. Are you going to wear a hat? Okay, a Pants. That, that, that one. Try to them. That Oma. Or a swimsuit. Mm. So what are you going to wear? Okay, your pants. You may wear pants, okay? All right. So now, okay. Is that a good choice or a bad choice? Mm. I don't need much. Okay, so I have pictures that I'm going to put in here. And then, kids, take note of the pattern. And then I will put, I will take out one in a little while. Oh, okay, so I have this. I have the farmer, the barn, I to go to the chicken, and the tractor. All right? So, close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. So what is missing? So farmer, barn, chicken. So what is missing here? What did I take, take out, Ate? What is missing? 
The missing one is the tractor. I tried to hide the tractor. Okay, so let's put the other pictures again. Okay. okay. All right. I can, it, it can fit in here, the four oh. pictures. See? Yeah. So let's take a look at this. Ate, look, pay attention. I have, what is this picture? The first picture, Ate, say that so they can see. Yeah. Tractor, chicken, farmer, barn. I repeat, tractor, chicken, farmer, barn. So I am going. So what is missing now? So I have now tractor, chicken, barn. So what is missing, Ate? What is missing? Nothing. What is missing? Nothing? Mm -hmm. I think someone needs to listen and pay attention to the lesson. What is missing? Nika, what did you say? Zach, Cloud, Mason, Andrew, Michael, Candace, Raina, Penny, Lily, Candace. What is missing now? If you say the missing picture is the farmer, then you are correct. The farmer is the one missing. Okay, let's have another last. I think this is your last chance. Okay, Miss Cassandra Conception, this is your last chance. So I hope you'll be able to participate in this activity. You want to put the pictures here? Okay, thank you. Okay, maybe we can put them. Okay. So, Ate, Cassie. Yeah. So, what is this? Tractor. Tractor. Very good. Chicken. Very good. Barn. Barn. Far, a farmer. So, a tractor, a chicken, a barn, and a farmer. So, close your eyes. No picking. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No picking. No picking. So what is missing now? So I have the tractor, the barn, and the farmer. So what is the missing picture? Chicken. Chicken. Did you guys have the same answer? Ta-da. Yes. I pulled out the picture of that chicken. So it should now be tractor, chicken, barn, and farmer. Very good memory for those kids who participated. Thank you. All right. We're almost nearing our STEM activity. Yay. All right. A little bit later. So the last two more activities. And then we're going to perform an activity. I know that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There is time for that, all right? Okay. Thank you that. for. This way do you want. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them yet. Okay, it's a surprise for them. Okay, so that. let's come at it. So, how many ducks do you see in the picture? Oh, show them the rest of the picture so they can participate. Can you show them? The one, two. <laughs> it's the reverse. Okay, there you go. So now count. Okay, let I'll show them. Okay, one, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After 10 is? 12. Ah, uh, 11. So let's count again the number of ducks in this picture. So one, two, 
three, four, five. Oh, they can see it very well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven. So did you choose this? Eleven. This is eleven. That's correct. This is seven and this is six. Okay, let's reverse this picture. Okay, count the number of cats there. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Very good, Ate. Did you count nine cats in this picture? Very good. So nine. Where is number nine here? Where is number nine here? So is this number nine, Ate? Oh, okay. We will swap the fly later. Is this number nine? Yeah. Is this number nine? Yes. What number is this? Two. What number is this? Eight. Okay, so this is number nine. Yay! Good counting, guys. All right, so let's now have an activity. So we've discussed about farm animals. So what does the farmer do? Okay, Ate, could you please help us sit here? Okay, so we're going to sing the song. Ready? One, two, three, and... This is the way we wash the pigs. Wash the pigs. Wash the pigs. Wash the pigs, baby. The pig. We wash the pigs. So early Wednesday morning. So wash the how do you wash the pig up there? Wash the pig. Okay, so this is the way we wash the pig. Wash the pigs. Wash the pigs. This is the way we wash the pigs so early in the morning. All right. Okay, so now let's have. This is the way we ride a tractor. Ride a tractor. Ride a tractor. This is the way we ride a tractor so early Tuesday morning. Ride a tractor, all right? So now, let's open the barn. Ready? One, two, three, and see. This is the way we open the barn. Open the barn. Open the barn. This is the way we open the barn. So early Sunday morning. Open the barn. Okay, open. Open the barn. Very good. Oh, this is your favorite. The, jump in the hay. Jump, I think. Jump in the hay. Ready? One, two, three, and. This is the way jump. You want to stand up and jump? This is the way we jump in the hay. Jump in the hay. Jump in the hay. This is the way we jump in the hay. So early Saturday morning. Okay, so this is the way we feed the horses. Okay, so how do you feed the horses, baby? So this is the way we feed the horses. Feed the horses, feed the horses. This is the way we feed the horses so early Friday morning. Oh, yeah. This is the way we feed. We milk the cows, milk the cows, milk the cows. This is the way we milk the cows early Monday morning. All right. So I think I did Monday, Tuesday. Teacher, I didn't know that the farmers do a lot of things. Yes, farmers do a lot of things. So what can a farmer do? Yes, teacher. Okay, so yes, teacher, what can a farmer do? 
Where is our next activity? How can I do that? Want to do that? Okay, so we know about farmers. Yes, we were doing that. This is the last. No. So farmers can what? I think can you name one, one activity that a farmer, that a farmer or that farmers do? You can use can, have, or are. Okay, so farmers can. Where is your cow? Where is your cow? You did it with mommy last Monday or Tuesday. Wow. What did you do? Cow. So cow. farmers cow. can. Me. Milk. Milk the, the cow. cow. Very good. All right. So farmers have a. What do farmers have? They have a what? They have a. Look at that picture. Farmers have farm. a farm. Very good. And farmers can also have also have a barn, right? This is a barn. And farmers are what? Farmers are. Are they hardworking people? Yeah. Are they busy? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so farmers are busy or very hard working. So they till the land. All right. So this is a much awaited part of our Friday activity. Yeah. Our experiment. So we will get our tools now. So I can <laughs> But first you need to sanitize your hands. And sanitize first. Very good. Okay, I think, I think I will get your apron so that you're well done. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, stand up. Stand up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, teacher Tata. It was teacher Tata's fault. Let me just get your apron. All right, so for this activity. Okay, for um, Cassie, tell us what we need for this activity. We need chocolate. So we need some pudding. One cup of pudding. And one cup for me. Yeah, one for you and one for oh, teacher I Dada. Dada. Oreo cookies. Gummy some I'm gummy worms. Gummy worms. I'm a gummy worm, Mom. For any um cookie I'm a gummy that worm, Mom. Okay. Any I'm a cookie gummy that is um like chocolate. Gummy. We will crush it into little pieces. So we, gummy this gummy is what we did. Gummy, 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 and M and M's. It can be plain peanuts or whatever you have. And this is what we are going to make: our dirt cup. So you see the worm and the little crushed Oreos and the pudding. And teacher Irwin will explain to everyone why we're doing this dirt cup. So the green um, sprinkles, those are just um, pretend grass. And their little seed is inside the dirt cup. Okay. All right. So since a lesson for this week, because, okay. We've, discuss, we've been discussing about farm animals, and you know that farm animals are in the farm. And when you are in the farm, have you been to our farm? Uh, I like a cow. You like oh, cows? You like a cow? yeah. Did you see cows already in real life? Yeah, I love cows. Yeah, I like okay, it. so no. I love cows to milk. Very good. You know how to milk the cow. Yeah, one time we went to the farm, you also fed. The goats, right? You fed the lambs or the sheep. Very good. So I know that some of our kids, almost, I mean, our kids have been to a farm at some point. So this is like an activity in order for them to know that to get the idea of that farm animals play in the mud or, yeah, play with the soil. Okay, so first activity, we're going to, this is a representation of the dirt or the mud or the farming. All right, so open the pudding. 
Philip, we're not playing. Are we playing at that? We are experimenting, all right? Very good. So put a lot there. Okay, let me taste it if you want to. So I'll put it in my first layer, okay? You want to do it? So I'll put it here. Are you guys doing it? If you don't have the, uh, the materials yet, you can do this later. Very good, Ate. Okay, so be careful slowly so you won't spill. So I want it layered nicely. So that, this pudding represents the dirt or the soil. You know, cows, goats, sheep, horses, they want to play. Okay, yeah, I will get your job. Or you later. Okay, very good. Not my cereal. Cereals? We don't need cereals for this because no, this represents. Oh, you need one. Oh, um, we, we only need one for now. Okay. Okay. You still have a lot. No, it had to be taller, like this. Oh, we can, we can, we can get a lot of these to make it taller. Okay, so. Come on. Okay, then put. Or you want me to combine this with yours? Okay, but you're not done. See, you were asking for another one, and I still see a lot. Okay, come on, you can do it. Get some more of those, please. Okay, so let's get tissue. We don't spread that. Okay, there. Okay, our napkin, paper towel. Right here is a paper towel. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Good job, Ate. So that's the first activity. Put the pudding, chocolate pudding there. That's one layer. Okay, so I'll help you, Ate, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Next is to put another layer. Layer of soil. Being represented by the Oreo, the mashed or crumpled or mashed or, or what you call that, pounded uh, Oreo cookies. Okay. Or do you want to use your spoon? Yeah, I'll use my spoon. So put a lot of Oreo cookie there. Okay, so you can allow them to touch them for, for that for sensory activities or something. Yeah. Oh, nothing left for me. Okay, it's all right. I'll just put some here. You got that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ate. Show them what, uh, what you have done. I, I have, they want a tall one. Yeah, they you're supposed to. Yours has more. Teacher yeah, yeah. practice has more. Okay, so that's, it's all right. So what's our next activity? This one. Yes, you put the M&Ms. All right, thank you, teacher cat, teacher mommy. Oh, you made a little ready. Okay, so see, it will spill here. Okay, so. Oh, they So why are you putting m ms there? Just one or two for your seeds. Uh, that's so many seeds. Uh, that, okay. That's so many seeds. No, because, okay, too many seeds will break this and then they will not, plants will not grow if they don't have enough space. There you go. All right. Wow, thank you for so sharing the seed, your seed. Okay, 
but I will add some more soil on my on my uh, yeah, container. Is that the map, Mom? Yes. Thank you for listening. So. Wow, that's a lot, Papa. It's no more, it's the same wall. Maybe one or two. One or two. One or two. Okay, I want, what's the color of this one, Papa? Brown. Brown. I will put brown seed or brown M&M on my, okay, but not a lot. You want blue. Okay, so you want blue seed on my, on my, yes, and now, worms. Can worms, can you see worms on the land or on the soil? Uh, I yes or no? Do you see, yeah. are worms, on, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, I'm it. are worms uh, an example of farm animal? Yeah. Okay. We got that one. We got this. We have this. Yeah, mom, we have this one. Okay. Give me that. Please. Please. Okay, so. Bye, So, sensory skills, like, they detach it. They, they will feel a lot of different textures of the activity for the pudding, for the Oreo, and for the gummy worms. Mm, okay, you want to put this? Oh, I forgot that this is my activity. Oh, you ate, you're done? No. Okay, oh, you um, want to put some? Yeah. Um, okay, so I some want, sprinkles. I want this one. Green sprinkles. I want this one. But Ate, look, it's not about colors. It's about the reality I of making one. our presentation. I so it. I think we're going to use green because it pink. represents for green first. Listen first. Pink. Listen first. Do you see pink soil? No. no that's so do you see pink grass? No. So sprinkle it a little bit. If you have sprinkles, you can do. Um, you can put some sprinkles on your. Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't have pink uh, grass, so let's make it. It's not about pink. Okay, thank you, teacher, mommy. Thank you. There's no pink grass, Ate. So the teacher will say when we put an experiment, oh no, it's not perfect because we don't have pink grass, right? It's okay. So now, put some. <laughs> okay, put, oh, you want to put the worms in your. On top of it, don't eat it this time because you have something that you need to eat here. Okay, one. I count the number of worms you can get. One. Two. Okay, enough, 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 because this will be your. All right, so what did you learn, Ate? What did you learn from this experiment? Yeah. Okay, so does this represent farm soil? Yes. Yes or no? Yeah. So the layers, the mud, then the soil there, and then. The M and M chocolates represent or represent what? It's the seeds, and then we have these words. All right. So thank you guys for staying with us, and for those who are going to watch this later, thank I hope you learned uh, little strategies for you to use. When you with your own toddlers or when you're teaching. So again, please help us reach this 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Please feel free to share this to your friends. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a great weekend. Ang ganda ko, grabe. <laughs>